the two ideas that could potentially make you millions. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ross Turner, aka Mr. Turner, and welcome back to another video. Let's just get into it. Okay, it's back, it's back. It's been a minute. I'm back, been a minute. We'll talk about that later in the video. Right now, we need to talk about the two ideas that could potentially make you millions or the fields that you need to go in. Yes, this is not quick money, it's gonna take some time, and you may fail a lot, but that's the process of being an entrepreneur. Okay, so if you're on YouTube looking to search for making money online or just in general, if you've had a look online, a lot of the times the topics has to do with e-commerce, forex trading, social media money. All of these are relevant topics and you can definitely make money from all of those topics I just mentioned. But I feel like there should be a disruption because especially here in South Africa, I mean, we don't even have that much of a market for electric cars. We don't have innovative technology that has made us go wow and if there has been I'm sorry I just haven't seen it yet and I might be ignorant is that the word to it and if you know of any great technologies out there here in South Africa leave a comment in the section down below let's talk about the two fields that I think is definitely worth having a look into and potentially could make you millions number one being drone delivery now I came across this idea around two three weeks ago when I watched this video about drones delivering blood in Rwanda and in fact they've been doing this for years now I definitely suggest going and having a look at the video I'll leave it in the first link in the description check out that video because it explains everything much more better than I can in a short video have a look at it and it's very inspirational now it got me thinking and I already know about Amazon delivering drone all right there are a bunch of wasps above my head let me just move now prior to this i already knew about amazon having a wild idea of having a huge warehouse in the sky and has small drones delivering packages to us customers now that's an idea obviously for in the future but if you have a look there are a couple of companies starting to do delivery other than the blood and that company is called flirty now if you go and have a look at Flirty, Flirty has already started to deliver pizzas in New Zealand and they've partnered with Domino's. There are a few big players like Uber Eats, Google, Amazon and a couple of other companies that are popping up but it's in the early stages. Yes, I know what you're thinking Ross, I don't have that type of money, I don't have Google money. <laughs> I don't have Uber Eats money. I don't have that money. So why am I watching this? I'll tell you what. The reason why I'm talking about this is because it is possible for you to create something within this gap. Now, yes, SANBS, which is a, the South African National Blood Supply, have created drone deliveries for blood supplies as like Rwanda. But it got me thinking, if I, as a sole proprietor, have stock items of like let's say 30 stock items that I hold per month and I can get a drone to deliver that to my customer within two kilometer radius or four kilometer radius that would be game changing and if you partner up with Checkers or Spa or Woolworths or any of the local shops and you say hey I have this drone company that can deliver goods to customers buy an app and don't worry it's all automated my team will come in and handle that you know how much money you would make now you're probably thinking damn Ross <laughs> you are crazy I don't have the time money or energy to invest into something that is possibly gonna be restricted which it is by the way heavily restricted so why would I do it the reason why I'm talking about these different ideas is to get all the young entrepreneurs inspired to look at other things rather than forex trading rather than all the conventional methods of making money here in South Africa be a disruptor look at the things that need a disruption yes you may not have any money but if you have some skills if you are really passionate about it I know some people talk about passion not being the number one thing to make a billion dollar company but if you learn certain skills and get started you might have the potential to be the next billionaire hey who knows okay it's worth mentioning that I have done a little bit of research and I found around to some drone companies and be like hey are there any drone delivering services here in SA and I found this one company I'm not too sure if I should name them 
because our conversation might have been private but this company said no they have the legal rights and they're the only company in South Africa who have the legal rights to do small time deliveries or, or small distant deliveries and I was just heartbroken one being I know that people with money always beat us small entrepreneurs there <laughs> first but it's us the small guys the smaller entrepreneurs who can really make a difference because you don't need a ton of money to 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 start yes you need to build a prototype and yes you probably need some money to get started but hey if you want to make a drone delivering company you're gonna find a way and and do it if if drone delivering is not your thing then he has the next field that I'm going to talk about that might also make you think that I'm crazy next topic being energy electric cars what car company do we have here in South Africa I know that you don't need to have a car company to be a well-established company but where is our innovation where's the infrastructure for that we are building other car brands in SA instead of coming up with our own now that's not to be disgraced at all I know we probably don't have a lot of money what I'm trying to say is energy is definitely huge just by talking about it I'm sure there's some ideas that you have thought about already you don't necessarily have to go out and start your first electric car company because you probably don't have any infrastructure or you don't have any capital to do that and if you go to a well-established investor and say hey I want to build this electric car and you have no proof of concept no way of making that car move at all it's just gonna be an idea right so what I'm saying is look at these fields where you could start getting into sure you need capital and how are you gonna do that well you could sell things and get yourself up to 50 million Rand and then hey one day I'm gonna make my own electric car or you could start learning things that is going to propel is going to disrupt the industry there's so much potential out here that if you don't see it then I guess that's that but Yes, it's scary and yes, it may seem difficult. A lot of the time, maths, science, statistics, programming, all these big fancy words may scare some of us and be like, whoa, I don't wanna have a look at that. But you'd be surprised if you really push yourself and say, hey, I need to study this, otherwise my dream is not gonna come true. You'll see how much you'll be able to absorb and, and really put effort into something. I know a lot of us see this information, coding or maths or science, and we're like, oh, nah, this ain't for me, this ain't for me. But if you get a YouTube tutorial on the beginning steps on it and then progress further into that, that you can learn it. Start learning because you might become the next disruptor. I wanna sum this video up. First of all, drone delivery can definitely be huge. And if you want to get into it, start researching, start setting yourself up. Thank you. Thank you. If you're a South African YouTuber, a sacred ibis or the hardy dog is a disruptor. <laughs> always has to be told by the sacred ibis. If you're more interested in the energy aspect and possibly doing a solar company or you think that you have the next big energy thing, go ahead, do some research. Research, research, research and start implementing. Start doing things you've never done before and you'll go places where you've always dreamed of. So whether that being picking up a maths textbook or science or even starting programming I suggest that you have a look at things that yes it's interesting to look at Forex and stock market and all of that and if that's what really interests you and that's what gets you up in the day then go for it but I'm saying that it's time the time is now for disruption and South Africa is a fantastic place to to invest in a lot of us South Africans assume oh you need connections you need this you need that which is true <laughs> yeah it's kind of true but at the end of the day if you don't do it you'll never know okay I want to leave this video with a couple of things that I have looked at in the past week now this is a chance for you to go and research these topics and see if you're interested in it first being graphene graphene is a material that is 30 times stronger than 
steel which is slowly starting to trickle its way into manufacturing so have a look at that the next thing that i've looked into is ai tensorflow python all these keywords can definitely help you make an income per month if you start learning if you start making small projects yes it helps to have a bsc in computers but you also don't need that if you make projects, if you learn and prove to a company that you have certain skills within Python or AI and you've shown modules and stuff, you can be hired and you can earn some money, all right? Okay, AI, TensorFlow, Data Science, Program R, Flutter, Dart, Azure, AWS, Java. All these things that I've mentioned, I've doubled and dabbled in. And yes, I'm going to settle on Flutter, TensorFlow, Data Science, Program R, and wow, that's already sounding like a lot but i'm definitely having a look at it and yes you need some basic statistics mathematics and it's not hard don't be afraid now i don't want this video to be about programming or anything like science and stuff and those videos will come later but i'm still a hustler i'm still an entrepreneur and we're still gonna learn how to make money here in south africa now for the part of where i've been what i've been up to let's talk about it for quick minute all right let's talk about where i've been what i've been up to first of all a life-changing event happened within our family so i'm not going to talk about it but what i am going to talk about is i have a job and i got my license and i've been very busy with our video company as well there are a couple of businesses that i like to talk about possibly in a follow-up video where what i'm doing and yeah that will come soon but what i want to show you is we're actually building uh two places on the property which is really neat i will send a video I will send a video. What am I saying? I've also been really tired. So I don't want to talk and ramble on too much, but uh, I will definitely update you guys on the building and what's going to be here. The building down there that I was standing in the beginning of this video and my small place on the other side there. So a lot of cool videos coming up. I do apologize. I have been working and stuff. I know we said no nine to five, all right? But it's not really a nine to five. I'm working at home with my my father so that's really cool I want to end off by saying that social blade says that I'm going to hit 10k subscribers in February of next year now I was on course to hit 10k subscribers by the 4th of December and now since I haven't been uploading of course now it says next year February but if you guys can get me to 10k by the end of this year that would be absolutely amazing all right, let's end this video. Please smash that like, get me to the 10K. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you, Hardy Dars, that's the end of the video. Remember to stay shining, keep smiling even on a rainy day, and cheers.